and a man is dead and two others in hospital, one of whom might face charges after a three-vehicle collision on Stevens Run Main Road in Nain St. Elizabeth last night. Krista Campbell has the details. Flashing police lights, a crowd of people, and the sound of wailing piercing the night sky. All evidence of something gone horribly wrong along the Stevens Run Main Road in Nain St. Elizabeth. Mangled metal paint a picture. A truck, a highest minibus, and a Toyota Corolla motor car all caught up in a traffic crash which ended tragically. It happened about 7.20 Friday night. The highest bus driving behind the truck towards junction. The motor car heading in the opposite direction. A passenger in the truck explained what happened. Busman overtake it while the car coming in opposite position. Lit into the car, my driver eventually pull to him left, taking it off of the bus. So the bus lit the car and eventually come and lit in the truck. And on reaching the scene, we realized that one person was trapped in a Toyota motor car. We removed the person from the vehicle and the police took him, took him out to hospital. The driver and the passenger in the highest minibus are in hospital, but 30-year-old Rohan Dunkley, who was driving the Toyota Corolla motor car, did not survive. He worked as a security guard at Boxite and Alumina Company, Disco Alapart. Family members mourned openly at the scene of the crash Friday night, his brother getting behind the steering wheel where Mr. Dunkley possibly took his last few breaths. Neither the driver nor the passenger in the truck was hurt. Police say speeding and improper overtaking caused the crash as the highest bus driver overtook the truck on the brow of a hill. Now with 482 people killed in road crashes in 2021, well over the authorities' target of 300, they continue to urge motorists to slow down and drive carefully. The Road Safety Unit says 2021 is the deadliest year on the island's roads since 1993, and Transport Minister Robert Montague has promised tougher sanctions when the new Road Traffic and Transport Authority Acts come into effect this month. Krista Campbell. TVJ News.